Yo, 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 what is happening YouTube? My name is Bevan and I'm one of the Howells brothers and I'm your average triathlete trying to improve my performance and keep physically and mentally fit. Work's been pretty busy recently, so I haven't been recording my training, but I've been keeping it going. Up on the screen now, you'll see my last night session, which was a bike session. It was very incremental, so it just went up in steps. It just, towards the end, it really, really did blow you up. So my legs were feeling quite sizzled after that one. This morning we had repeats in the pool, a 1K warm up and then 20 100s in the pool. So that was quite cool, trying to keep a consistent pace with 10 seconds rest in between. Very tough. Um, currently now, um, as you can see, I've made myself some scrambled eggs after work. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I'll probably go upstairs because I've got a banging headache. Um, so I'll have a cheeky little 20 minute nap um, but I've got hill sprints tonight, so that'll be interesting. Uh, but this is a great way of keeping your heart rate elevated, so really working on a VO2 max. And so, yeah, that's the plan. So it be, should be savage. Um, i got some time off at Christmas time, so there should be a couple more videos coming our way. I'll also ensure that I make a video going through my plan um, for this year now, um, in terms of sessions and how that's going to ramp up as well. I'm going to dip off now for a quick nap, and I'll see you on the hills. Awesome. So that was a session. Um, 8.9k. How did I find it? Very fucking hard. No, <laughs> very hard. Um, yeah, 50 minutes of tough, tough work. So let's go through a little bit of the session in terms of interval. So the work, so the sprint, the hill sprint was for a minute and the recovery dam was 130. And it, you're aiming to get a hill of, of about 3 to 5%. So um, yeah, it's a tricky one. And it feels like you're going so slow. So slow and incremental, but we got it done. If I go through the set then, because I think it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I should have known that. Ten reps. First rep we did was 28, so that's 280 meters. Second was 270. Third was 270. Fourth was 260. Fifth was 260. Sixth was 260. 7th was 260, 8th was 260, 9th was 250, and then 10th was 260. So, quite consistent. Um, first one I went out of the blocks a bit too hard. Shock. But, uh, yeah, no, it was, um, was a good little session. Heart rate. Highest the heart rate went was 190. Um, and it was pretty early on as well. So... Yeah, it was the first or second rep, it was 190, and then it drops down to a base level of about 160. So it's a bit bizarre how that works. Um, but the last couple of days, since that 10k, I felt so fatigued, haven't been sleeping very well, body's just been not very good. Supposedly, according to Garmin, um, it was anaerobic capacity that session. It was very hard, so if you're willing to do that then just bridge on the edge of caution is that saying just be careful because it was um it was savage 
make sure to get out, do your training. It's only winter, it's only a bit cold, get a hat on, get some leggings on or whatever, and get out and do your work. Um, fit time in, whether that's waking up early, getting out at the night. If you're in bed right now, there's always time. Um, I don't particularly like training too close to bed because I can't sleep because the heart rate's up for a couple of hours but if that's what you got to do that's what you got to do so yeah thanks for watching um, if you'd like to see more videos please like and subscribe and see you in a bit ta-da